up guys it is joe here from joe talks wrestling also known as the kip clips promo champion of 2019 now what this video is today is a lot of you may be thinking huh like what's this well essentially as you guys know i won the kip clips 2019 promo competition and i'm currently in a rivalry with kip clips so i th figured if i'm being referred to as the kip clips promo champion then I need a championship. So I have a previous experience with creating a championship belt. Um, however, it is a wooden one. And it's this beauty right here, which I am very, very thankful for, because if I never made this, half of you viewers wouldn't be here today and I would still be stuck on about 300 subscribers. So because of this Daniel Bryan eco friendly championship, I sort of know how to make a wooden belt. Now my next challenge was can I make a wooden belt still because I don't have the right machinery to create a metal belt to create maybe a promo championship. So I took that challenge and I thought, hell yeah, I can do that. Now before we get into the video and before I show you me starting to make the promo championship, I just wanna let you guys know that Kip never asked me to do this. I've done it off my own back. Kip never sent me the championship. Next year's winner of the promo competition and the previous winner, Prince Will Gamer. Well, Will never had one of these championships. And next year's winner won't have one of these championships. This is just for me to keep. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. How I made the promo championship. Let's go. So here is the base for the promo championship that I'm making. Um, I... Basically, this is a plate. <laughs> this is a big plate, like a dinner plate. This is some lids to like coffee, like tin thing we've got at my house. And then this is just a mug. I'm gonna be doing it. Uh, main plate, two big side plates, two small side plates. These are botched two side plates that I've done. And just because I'm wanting to run this on a bit of a budget, um, instead of buying gold spray paint, I use my gold acrylic paint. And I've painted it on. And I don't know if you can tell much by the actual, like through the camera but this acrylic paint is actually dried and it's working. So I think I'm just gonna paint the rest of it with acrylic instead of spray paint. But that is the promo championship so far. I'm just about to cut out the plates. So oh, here are the plates all cut out. Obviously you guys have seen the Daniel Bryan belt video. No, we can't get it exactly to the line. So I'll be going up and using a grinder to get it on the line in the next clip. So I've literally spent my morning today uh, cutting out different images to do for the actual plates of the championship. Um, I'm gonna have a big YouTube play button in the middle, which should be cool. We got promo champion on there, microphones on the first set of side plates, globes on the other, because obviously the competition is for anyone worldwide. And then we've got a little slot for a nameplate. Uh, this is the ECW 2008 nameplate that I have used. So yeah, hopefully soon, I'll be able to file down the sides so I can actually get them on the lines and then I can start painting. So all of the plates are now perfectly round and that means it's time for me to start painting. So I've got my little setup right here. We've just got the gold paint, um, some cotton buds, some toothpicks for the little like intricate pieces some glossy mod podge and my brush and i'm going to paint all of this gold uh, i'll do the nameplate silver and if i don't like it i'll just paint it gold again but we're gonna have some fun with it so let's get right into it so i've just got finished gluing all of the gems on the plates i've just got to do one more um i'm once again i said i wanted to have the youtube play button raised but just in like in case i can't do that i've painted it anyway this is it so far, it's just sealing. Main plate right here, I'm gonna add one extra gem at the very top. Um, then we got the side plates. Um, the first two side plates are identical and then the two black and gold globes that are gonna go on the side. Next up, I need to cut out the cardboard strap. So as many of you guys know, I did make a video not too long ago talking about how I made custom name plates for my championships. However, the silver that I used for the ECW championship, the silver card, didn't line up and I just couldn't nail the handwriting. Um, I couldn't get my name right, I didn't like it. I must have tried it about three times and I just couldn't get it done. Uh, when I say three times, I mean like full on like three pieces of paper. 
Um, so I eventually thought, right, what can I do? I need the silvers to match. So I went onto uh, my computer, literally typed my name in, picked the font, I can't remember what it was called, um, picked the font I wanted that's quite a nice, like, um, formal looking font, done that, and basically printed it out. Then I used the nameplate for the ECW Championship, uh, which is the one that my championship's based off, the promo title, and I traced around it and then painted silver all over the white paper with the silver acrylic paint then covered over all of the letters with black acrylic paint and then now I've just finished sealing it on with obviously the glossy Mod Podge. So here is the nameplate. Here it is on the promo championship. It still looks a bit um, rough because obviously that's all sealer. That's not, it looks like silver paint all on the outskirts. It's not, it's sealer. Um, after this, what I'll do is if there any is over, if there is any overlap silver paint, I will go over it with gold. But here's the promo championship. I've got to do the strap. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this 3D, the YouTube play button, because the only wood that I can find thin enough is balsa wood, and I'm not a fan of that. So it's either I have it quite stacked, um, the exact same, like literally double this on top, or I just have it flat. So that's one of the things I'm still thinking about. But here is my name on the promo championship. So I'm just getting ready to cut the strap out now. We've got this, uh, this like fake leather. Um, and that's what I'm going to use on the strap. So I don't know if I'll film me doing it or not because obviously my mum and dad will probably be helping me. But um, if not, I'll start recording when the strap's done. So essentially what we've done here is literally just spread all the glue onto the strap, flipped it over, rolled over it with a rolling pin and then put some tins of beans on it and stuff uh, just to hold the weight down. And I'll probably let that sit for until tomorrow, really. So yeah, hopefully that dries soon. So me and my mum have done the strap um, and essentially what we've done is we obviously, as you last saw, we were gluing on the actual like main part of the strap. But now what we've done is we've cut around it um, and cut different like smaller bits and folded them. So we've got the edge of the strap. And now if I flip the camera around, you can see that we have glued that backing and put it on to well, back on to the sort of like simulated leather. Um, it's gonna need like cleaning and stuff because there is a few glue stains. Uh, but here it is, this is the strap for the Kit Clips Promo Championship. And when it's dry, hopefully tonight at some point maybe, if not tomorrow morning, um, I'll be able to cut this out and cut it down super close so it's a solid backing. Um, instead of what I did on the Daniel Bryan belt and it's just sort of different bits glued together so the backing won't have too many glue stains on it. And then once that's all said and done, we'll get on to gluing on the plates. After that, the Velcro and then it's complete. So I'm back from decorating my sister's flat and uh, that's been enough time realistically for the backing to be sealed on. So I've started cutting it out um, and yeah, it's looking nice at the moment. Here you can see, Almost done. It's very nice. You can't see it from the front. Nice backing out. Woody wants to be in the video. Yeah, so just got to go around the rest of it and finish it off, and then we will see when it's done. Just gluing the plates on now, um, plates and Velcro now, and then when I get back to it in the morning, it should be good. We're just marking it out. Um, the main plate's already glued on. Just having to mark out these other two make sure they're perfect ladies and gentlemen all of the plates are now stuck on the promo championship it looks fantastic um and essentially what i've had to go over and do is just do some like going over the paintwork um so there's been little bits here and there that have like you know botched a little um so i've just been going over them so some of the plates aren't dry as you can see that little bit of paint there um and some of them aren't dry but once they will be dry, I'll be showing you it, obviously over shoulder shots and everything. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's finished. So hopefully all goes well. So here is the promo championship in all of its glory. I think I've done a pretty decent job, I can't lie. Um, as I did in the Daniel Bryan belt video, show you off the flexibility of the strap. It's very good. Once again, obviously being a cardboard strap, it's very, very uh, good flexibility wise. Goes over the shoulder, no problem at all. Um, other way as well, up, over. Um, I don't have any snaps, so it does seal over with Velcro. Um, I need to add it onto this side still, 
but um, yeah, it doesn't go around waist yet. But when it does, it does look pretty decent. If I was to just hold it there right now and show you, that's what it looks like around the waist, which is pretty cool. I've tried to, you know, get all the globes round. So there it is. And uh, yeah, so once again, I just want to reiterate if the camera stays steady. No, that's not a good angle, is it? That'll do. So once again, I just want to reiterate, Kip Clips did not send me this championship. As you've seen by the video, I have made it entirely by myself. I will be saying this over and over again, just to make sure. I don't want next year's winner to um, be uh, like, you know, expecting a championship because I made this myself. Unless they want to pay me to do one for them, it's this is just for me. Like, Kip didn't send me it, it's just mine. I made it myself. So, I hope you enjoy, ladies and gents. Be expecting to see this in Kip Clips like style videos in the future, not necessarily his, but mine. If I'm talking about Kip Clips, you will see me holding the promo championship. If I am in character, you will see me with this championship, okay? So if not, obviously, you guys that don't understand, um, if I'm in character, keeping kayfabe alive with the whole Kip Clips rivalry, this is the championship I have on my shoulder. So thanks for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed. Um, if you wanna make one, you can. But at the same time, it's pretty pointless because this is a custom championship because I am the only promo champion. The only, like realistically, the only other person that's a promo champion is Principal Gamer. So even like Will, if you're watching this video and you want a promo championship, hit me up um, on Instagram or something and uh, you know, we can sort a price and I'll make you one. So there we go. Kick Clips promo champion, Joe Talks Wrestling out. See you in the next video.